sisters and a brother, all of whom died very suddenly. And only I and one little brother were left. One day, someone overheard my Italian nurse singing to me, I have sent four to heaven before you. Maria Hadfield Cosway was born in Italy to English parents, June 11, 1760. Her mother was actually Italian, and her father owned a large fortune, residing in Florence at the time of Maria's birth. She grew up as a devout Catholic, which, upon a family disaster, would develop into a strong desire of becoming a nun. From a total of eight children in the Hadfield household, Four of them were tragically murdered by the family's nursemaid, which is said to have been severely mentally ill at the time, previously showing a wish and whispers of wanting to kill Maria as well. After her father's death and enough emotional stress for a lifetime, she and her mother moved to England where they settled in London sometime during 1779. Once there, she married the celebrated miniature painter Richard Cosway in 1781. The ceremony took place January 18th and was largely considered as an affair of convenience, seeing as Richard was not only 20 years her senior, but also a known libertine, that would, several times over, be unfaithful to Maria. Rumors amongst the ones brave enough to criticize Richard Cosway often describe him as a monkey. Richard and Maria had one child together, but eventually separated. After the goodbyes and whilst Maria traveled to the continent during a pilgrimage, unfortunately her daughter Louisa died. Amongst all tragedy, pain and despair, Maria never ceased to paint, continuously perfecting her craft and talent. She was not only an incredibly talented painter, but also an accomplished composer musician, and society hostess. More than 30 of her works were displayed at the Royal Academy of Arts from 1781 until 1801, further enhancing her reputation as an artist after exhibiting her portrait of the Duchess as the character Cynthia. During her lifetime, Maria even met Napoleon himself, whilst copying Napoleon crossing the Alps by her friend David. She even became close friends with Napoleon's uncle, Cardinal Joseph Fesch, cheering the clerical men's art collection extensively. One historian has, however, proposed the idea that some of Maria's dedication and admiration towards Napoleon was due to her love affair with her then-lover Pasquale Paoli, a once general, then exiled in London, previously an associate of Napoleon Bonaparte and his troops. Although Maria's life seemed well and full, even disastrous at times from the 1770s through the 1780s, something else was amongst it all along, or should I say, someone else too was stirring the pot. During the hot, summery August of 1786, the Cosways, still married at the time, were introduced to Thomas Jefferson himself, whilst he served there as the American envoy to France, where he began living lavishly. Jefferson was then a widower and 43, Maria was 27. Upon meeting her, it said he begged time off from his dinner companion, saying he needed to attend official business, but instead, spending the evening with Maria, exchanging interests in art and architecture that would develop into planned joint trips to several museums and exhibits. Sometime after, and perhaps realizing his wife's unusual affair, Richard Cosway forced his wife to join him in departing to London. Over the six weeks Maria and Jefferson had spent together, Jefferson developed a romantic attachment to her, 
spending each and every day during that time together. As a devout Catholic and no longer wishing to have more children, it is likely their love affair never went further from platonic, enamored encounters, and decades of correspondence. To add further into this theory, it is commonly believed that Jefferson was a particularly discreet individual, so no one knows for certain the extent of their loving relationship. Their letters went back and forth, sometimes interrupted by events in their lives and confessions that were either tenderly or poorly received by either party. Their correspondence, however, lasted an amazing 50 years until Thomas Jefferson's death in 1809. Maria's life, once again, found itself in the shade, missing the warm rays of sunlight and mutual happiness that she had glimpses of spread throughout her life. Maria Cosway died, a talented and beautiful artist, January 5th, 1838, age 77, in Italy. As always, thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe.